Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County. And we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. Uh, this home is uh, approximately uh, about four years old and uh, in a nice, well kept subdivision. Uh, it's a unique property, uh, a lot of space for the money, and a very, very good functional floor plan. I'm going to pan around here and give you an idea of what the neighborhood looks like. Uh, this is a fairly small subdivision and uh, this road is actually uh, leads down to a cul-de-sac so there's not a whole lot of traffic the only people that come down this road are the people that actually live here we've got a uh, nice size front yard uh, plenty of off-street parking as well as a two-car attached garage that you see there we've got low maintenance exterior and a pretty open, a good sized backyard. We do have a little buffer back there between this property and the street. Uh, you've got a pretty clean palette here as far as the rear yard. So you can pretty much do what you like as far as landscaping. Uh, there the, where the double doors are, it is ready for your new deck. And a good, good location here. We've got uh, all the major amenities nearby, um, major highway, not far away at all. I like to come to these homes, give you an idea of what's currently available in the marketplace. Hopefully you find these videos helpful. Uh, if so, please give me a call. I'd be happy to help you with this or any other home on the market. I specialize in homes that are below market value. So if you are interested in a foreclosure or bank owned home, or government owned home that is right up my alley. Why spend more money than you have to? Okay, as we come in, we have a nice formal dining area. Of course, we got beautiful wood floors. A column here separates a kind of your walkway area from your dining area. And our powder room is located right here to the right. Uh, there is no Painting. No painting has been done in this home uh, with the exception of the builder white. So you'd be working with a completely clean palette. Uh, it does need to be painted and there are some places where carpet needs to be cleaned. But it's overall in pretty good condition. I really love this two-story family room. You can see we have nice tall ceilings here. Uh, this family room does have a gas log fireplace straight ahead. We also have a coat closet that's here as well. A little additional storage. As we look back towards the kitchen, we've got a nice open kitchen. On the floor we do have vinyl and high definition laminate countertop. Uh, we've got uh, a nice complement of cabinets. We've got space here for your microwave and your electric range. Also space for your dishwasher right there as well. Uh, the island is really convenient, especially if you're entertaining. Uh, you have a little overhang there so you can pull up a uh, short bar stool uh, there at the island. A little additional cabinetry here on this side and space for your refrigerator with ice maker. They even put a little outlet there on the side of the island for small appliances that you may occasionally need. We've got a nice large laundry room with some natural light coming in. There's plenty of space here for washer, dryer, and even some additional storage. A really good size pantry, and we've got the double doors, of course, on that pantry. And then here to the right, we have our attached two-car garage. A really nice space here for storage or for vehicles. Uh, most people, of course, nowadays don't even use a garage for vehicles. Uh, gas is our fuel source for both the furnace and the water heater. And of course, this home does have central air as well. So we've got a nice modern garage. Naturally, we have 200 amp electrical. Plenty of service for this home. And as you can see, just a really, really nice, functional, open floor plan. Let's go on up and see what we have upstairs. Uh, as I mentioned before, the carpet does need to be uh, probably replaced. I don't think this light colored carpet has much life left in it. So replacement would probably be a good idea. 
We've got a little balcony here that looks over the family room. Just a really nice dramatic look. Our first secondary bedroom here on the front of the house, really good size bedroom here. Definitely ample for even a full or larger size bed. Our hall bath, nice size vanity, tub shower enclosure. And they even came in with vinyl that looks like wood. It's a nice little touch. Got a linen closet here to the left, which services that bathroom that we just left. This is our other secondary bedroom. This carpet definitely needs to be replaced. We've got a double closet there. And somebody had anger management issues, but that's an easy repair. And now into our master. Our master in this floor plan is really good size. We've got plenty of natural light that flows into the master. And we also have a nice walk-in closet. They've done a nice arrangement here as far as our shelving goes. And then even he has a couple feet for his clothes on that side. While the lady of the house can of course enjoy all of this. Who said life was fair? Okay, as we go into the master bath, we have got a beautiful garden tub here with a window out looking over the backyard. Just really nicely done. We've got our double vanity tile floor. And we also have a really nice tile bath. Uh, this is a nice upgrade that the builders did. Just gives it a really nice polished feel here in this master bath. It is 90 degrees in here and I am sweating bullets. Hot, hot, hot. But that's what I go through to bring you these videos, so hopefully you appreciate them. If you do appreciate them, please feel free to give me a call and would love to help you in your next purchase. Okay, third level. We have a nice space here. This would be great for a home office or a playroom a woman cave, a workout space. You also have a little utility room here. This is our second heating and air system. And it, of course, is in the attic. To the right, we have another full bath. And this is super convenient because if someone is up here, they don't have to go downstairs in order to use the bathroom and, of course, the fourth bedroom here on the third level. Great for a teenager that doesn't do well with other people. A uh, great place to isolate them or a mother-in-law that doesn't do well with other people. So they could be self-contained up here on the third level. Okay, that is it for this home. If you have any questions, once again, Max Williams, 402 I'd be happy to help you. Be happy to send you a customized list of all homes in your price range that meet your criteria. My list is updated in real time and it's an excellent way to save you time, energy, and most of all money. Thanks again. Have a great day.